Jeb Bush is looking to change the subject in the media right now from his support or lack of support for his uh, brother George W. Bush's uh, decision to go to war in Iraq, and he has chosen a very odd topic to do it on, and it has to do with his Apple Watch. Uh, so he recently said, on this device, talking about the watch, in five years will be applications that will allow me to manage my health care in ways that five years ago were not even possible. I'll have the ability, someone will, you know, because of my blood sugar, there will be a wireless there will be, someone will send me a signal. I apologize, he's a bit garbled there. <laughs> It'll come here, I'll get a double beep saying, you just ate a butterscotch sundae or something like that. You went way over the top. You're a diabetic, you can't do that. Uh, it's very folksy, the way the watch yeah. talks to you. Yeah. Uh, we'll be able to guide our own healthcare decisions in a way that will make us healthy. And ultimately, we have to get to a health system away from a disease system, which I agree with that. But you do need to understand that, that at the same time that he is saying that the Apple Watch is the solution to our health problems, Jeb Bush believes that Obamacare, the Affordable Care Act, should be repealed. And so the, the how many million, almost 17 million Americans that have gotten health insurance because of that law would have their health insurance theoretically taken away. And his solution is that you pair a $500 smart watch with your $600 smartphone uh, as a solution to you not being able to f afford health insurance. So that that is, makes sense to me. Well, you know, the whole uh, iWatch thing, I, I, I don't understand. So I, we, don't really I got a either. clock on my wristwatch, I got a clock on my phone, and now I got a clock on my iWatch. Say what you want, we are definitely living in the golden age of knowing what time it is. <laughs> Do you know what time it is? Hell, Hell yes! yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I don't get it. I'm a huge tech supporter, and, and maybe there will be yeah. some apps that will come out, and I'll be like, this is the most awesome thing ever, but I haven't yet seen a reason why it's so much better than, than taking saw, out your phone. He, I, don't, I don't get I it. I saw yet. one of those I, I was I had to go to the Apple store the other day. My trackpad mm -hmm. went crazy. I got water on it. Get this. So the guy goes, <laughs> oh, we have to replace your trackpad. And I go, okay, good. Uh, how long will that take? He goes, well, we got him in stock, so just a couple days. I go, a couple days for my computer? And it'll cost you $1,500. And I go, I go <laughs> slightly more than a new computer. Yeah, yeah. Can you just, I tell you what, just get me the trackpad and I'll have somebody put it in because I know a bunch of people. And uh, the guy goes, oh, I can't do that. Yeah. I go, you can't do what? He's like, I can't sell you the trackpad alone. I go, you can't sell me the thing you're about to sell me. That's what you're telling, because yep. you're going to sell it to me, yeah. but first you're going to put it in the goddamn computer, but you've got to make me wait two days. Just fucking give me the dick! The point was that the, I saw the iWatches when I was there. Yeah. Yeah. They're teeny tiny. They're very small. Who could even read one of them? They're like the size of a matchbook. They're, they're, just, they're, not, really small. they're just not cute. Like, I just don't, I don't <laughs> no. want, I have no Someday interest Someday I think but, that they will make sense, and I'm, I'm quite excited sure, for it. But I right would, now I'm very... Those uh, things that shoot that are supposed to project onto your forearm, and then you the can... Keyboards. Like, that I want, but I don't want that. Mm. Getting back to what Jeb is trying to say about healthcare in America, I, does he know that the diagnosis is only half of the battle, <laughs> right? Really? So, like, you know, like, oh my God, my watch says that I have a diabetic. <laughs> I guess everything's fine now. Yeah. No, no you, got, half you need health care. Yeah. You need insurance. Like, what's wrong with this guy? Yeah, it was, I'm dizzy. Wait I, a pressed minute. The, I pressed the wrong button on my iWatch, and it gave me chemotherapy. It was really <laughs> unfortunate that they can do that. I mean, the day when Apple figures out a way to make a watch that cures you of all your ailments, then you know what, Jeb? Do you? You're yeah. right. But in this case, like, again, knowing what your ailment is is only half the battle. You need the treatment. That's the reason why people need insurance. So when they get a cancer diagnosis, they have some sort of safety net, something to help them out with costs so they can get the proper treatment. Yes, exactly. That's oh. what the Affordable Care Act is supposed to be <laughs> I'm for. I'm feeling the way. I'm, go ahead. I was just going to say, I love that in his wildest fantasies about this technological future and the, and the medicine and the control we have over our own bodies, he's still diabetic. <laughs> like he wasn't able to avoid it. Apparently, it's not that good that watch. Oh, and I'm feeling lightheaded. Oh, my watch says it's just a heart attack. All better. <laughs> <laughs> but you yeah. know, he does get uh, health. Uh, he gets advice on healthcare policy. Jeb does from his brother, um, from his brother George W. Bush. George W. Bush is giving Jeb advice on healthcare policy, but only after Jeb tells him about the rabbits. And I love that also Jeb is actually getting attacked uh, by politicians as well. Debbie Wasserman Schultz said, I had cancer. There's no app for that. She oh, sent him that tweet. Wow. That's a little bit rough. She's Look, pulling rank. I am very uh, optimistic about what technology can do for your health. And I do think that there is a role for these sorts of things to track whatever. But as Anna has pointed out, that is not the solution for our medical uh, problems. The Affordable Care Act is 
the beginning of a solution. It's the first step, not the last step. And taking a step back is no solution at all.